Okay, in this video, I'm going to continue on my tutorial videos on thermodynamics and statistical mechanics. This is video number 17, and we're talking about a subsection on Taylor and McLaren series, and this is video 5 in that subsection. So what I'm going to do now is very quickly calculate the Taylor and McLaren series for the natural logarithm of 1 plus, uh, 1 plus x. Not 1 plus a as I've written here, 1 plus x. So, as we've seen already plenty of times, the Taylor series is written as follows. The previous video to this, of course, is the four previous Taylor slash McLaren series videos. So, in order to calculate the coefficient C sub n, we need to calculate the n derivatives of our expression. So, let's take the zeroth derivative of f of x, well, that's just going to be equal to the natural logarithm of 1 plus x. We take the first derivative of our function, we're going to get 1 over... 1 over 1 plus x. If we take the second derivative of our function, we're going to get negative 1 over 1 plus x to be squared. If we take the third derivative of our function, we're going to get 2 over 1 plus x cubed. Alright? Now we know, of course, that in order to use these as coefficients for our Taylor expansion, we need to evaluate them at the point x is equal to a. So therefore we need to get rid of all of these x's and replace them with a's and the same here and if we do that these are almost ready to be our coefficients. We just need of course to divide across by the n factorial. So anyway, all of these are the first four of the derivatives evaluated at x is equal to a. So now that we've gotten that we're ready to evaluate our Taylor series. So the Taylor series of the natural logarithm of 1 plus x is equal to the following. So it's equal to um, 1 over 1 plus a uh, Oh, what am I doing? No, that's, that's completely incorrect. So we start off with the natural logarithm of 1 plus a times x minus a to the 0 divided by 0 factorial which you know as 1 plus 1 over 1 plus a times x minus a to the 1 divided by 1 factorial and so on so will we do one more yeah plus we'll do one more we have negative 1 over 1 plus a squared we have x minus a squared and we have 2 factorial and right I, did, I said I wouldn't but I'll do one last one we have 2 over 1 plus a cubed we have x minus a cubed sorry x, yeah, x minus a cubed divided by 3 factorial so how do we go from a Taylor to a Maclaurin expansion so Taylor to Maclaurin expansion or T going to m, we set a is equal to 0. So we center our function, or we, excuse me, we, yeah, we uh, center our function at a is equal to 0. So if you plug in a is equal to 0 in all, into all of these, you're going to get the Maclaurin series expansion of our function natural logarithm 1 plus x. So the Maclaurin series of natural logarithm 1 plus x is equal to natural logarithm of 1 plus 1 over 1, x minus 0, plus, and so on. Alright, so we see that it's, we see that, it, well, that's that. So how do we get the natural logarithm? So we, know, we now know that the natural logarithm, logarithm of 1 plus x is approximately x, because natural logarithm of 1 is equal to 0. So we see the natural logarithm of 1 plus x is approximately x. The natural logarithm of 1 minus x is also approximately x. So that's, that's really all I've got to say about that. So to use this for our thermodynamics, we'll see later on that we're going to be trying to get the natural logarithm of 1 plus n over q. Well, if we try and get a Maclaurin series on this, we call this, this is approximately, this is x and therefore we're going to get the following if we take the Maclaurin um, take the Maclaurin a series expansion of it. 
Alright? So, that's all I've got to say about that. Thanks for watching. Please pass it on to your friends. Subscribe to my channel. And also, if you're in a good mood, you might even click on an ad. Thank you.